the tutorial stage, so it's still fairly new to us. Um, we did a little bit of Skullgirls. I didn't do so well, but <laughs> that is okay. Because now we're going to do some more. Uh, it's turning. We're still in the tutorial stage, so don't worry. You didn't miss much. Um... So let's go back. Good thing we didn't exit from this game. So last we checked off, right? We were looking at so um the case is about like this guy okay, hold on. I wonder if I can go back and load this up. Okay, so records, load Start playing from the safe mode. Yep. <laughs> now you just run. You kick the ass one. Okay, so it just goes straight into there. Okay, so here's the case. Ready? We're gonna go through the case really fast. Boom. So, uh, young, non sexy dude <laughs> that's not named Kasuma is accused of murdering a professor of his. Um, by a gunshot because he was found with a gun while at a restaurant but it wasn't really busy and it turns out that it's a big deal because the professor he allegedly shot is an English professor like he's from England and the Japanese and the English just signed a treaty with each other to be peaceful I'm guessing this is during like World War One or whatever right and or in fictional time in fictional land and sexiness over here, Kazuma, is like top dog, ace, be like great man, super good detective, smart as ever. Um, he offered to help his friend, who is the lame one next to him, <laughs> to like get him off because he doesn't think he murdered him. Uh, spoiler alert, he didn't. Um, what else happened? Oh. But the problem is that he's risking his career by helping us because if he, if like we don't win this case, then he ends up not being able to go abroad to England. So we have stepped up to defend ourselves and that's why we're in the middle of this case. But it's also like how you learn how to, how you learn how Ace Attorney works. This is what a, every Ace Attorney game does. You end up being heavily to represent yourself, but you have somebody who's an expert to help you get along the way to get you started. And we have just discovered that the uh, that the fence has brought in two witnesses who claim to have saw me kill this guy, right? But that didn't happen. What ended up happening was we're saying that there was somebody else that was eating with him that no one's talking about. Cause it was like this lady that was supposed to be there and i'm trying to sum it up from what i remember because it was like a week ago <sighs> yeah so the english guy was sitting with a lady and they're saying that there was no lady but we have evidential proof that that was there was a lady because the um professor had a dentist appointment before like before he got murdered but he was at a restaurant so they're trying to say that listen we'll go over it but they repeat stuff about this case a thousand times, so we'll just just know that's what that's where we at. <clears throat> and of course, I'm going to voice as much as I possible, as much as I can, because a lot of the stuff isn't voice acted. So, but there's partial voice acting. <clears throat> I think it's fair to say that the tables in this in this restaurant case have turned. I didn't let. Okay, so oh, um, welcome back, Sinku. I was explaining the plot because I didn't see what was going on. <laughs> um, a pair, I let a poll go up because after school goes, I was like, okay, what should we play next? Um, and I set the poll so that, because the way it have it is that you can either um, increase your vote with like bits or you can increase your vote with channel points or you could do both. Um, I didn't want to use bits because I don't want people, if you don't have any, I mean, it'd be great for you to increase it, but it's not that big of a deal. So I went away to go 
um, do stuff and let people vote. And in, in the end, Leela ends up winning the vote and it said that Leela basically won because she used her channel points to push her vote, which you're allowed to do. Um, I said who, everybody who, who's paying attention can vote on the game that I play next. Leela just happened to be the one to like do that. And then Leela was like, oh, I just like to win or whatever. And that's why she pushed it. I don't know if she was really, I wasn't really reading the chat that much. I was too busy setting the game up. So I didn't allow anything, but you know. Anyway, when you agree, Renounce, Sasuke, but not really Sasuke, where is this win coming from? Because homeboy is blowing in the wind. I mean, she watches me the most, so, you know, it's all fair game. Yes, most definitely. So having, so having just undergo some dental surgery, the victim was unable to eat. That's what I just said. Which leads one very cru crucial conundrum. Who, in fact, was eating the pictured beef steak? Because when we were in the restaurant, it's pictured that they are assuming that the the professor ate the steak, and that's why he should have been the. You know, there was only one dinner set, so he must have been alone. I am gonna say you're gonna need those points later, but I'm not gonna tell you why. But you're gonna need them. The court will hear the opinion of the defense on this new puzzle. I assume you're ready, counselor. Counsel? Oh, that means me, doesn't it? All right, the answer to this question is going to be pivotal. This is the start of your turning this trial around. Show them what you're made of. I will, Kazume. Got it. So, um... The person eating the steak at the victim's table must have been the as an as of yet unknown third party. Does that not count? Boo 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 boo. I mean, she's not necessarily a no a third party, but okay. Um. If I use them to be, it wouldn't, wait, what do y'all say? Why does he have a sword? So every person in Ace Attorney usually has like a gimmick or with them, whether it's like they have a robot head or they have like a spiky hair or they have like a whip. They usually have something like about them that makes them, like a quirky thing about them that makes them stand out. So the person who was, um, who was eating the steak was the lady that we were talking about that we seen that everybody else is claiming there was no lady. Obviously, it could have been someone else who was sitting at the professor's table. What are you objecting? You will not, you will not let this go, will you? There was no such person. Hi, Sadie. Yes, there was, because I saw her. When the incident occurred, we know that the victim couldn't have been eating anything. Yet, we have evidence of a half-eaten steak on his table. Ugh, oh, therefore, the only logical conclusion is that there was, a, some, there was somebody else there eating it. Uh, we have strong evidence to support our assertion. It's clear that these witness testimonies are unreliable. If the court decides to push through at uh, push through a ruling at this stage, we will look for we will lodge a formal complaint with the Ministry of Justice and pursue a fair retrial relentlessly. <sighs> He's so hot. Like, <laughs> why is he so hot? Kazume, it's his authoritative nature. Are you insane? Maybe. You? You would take on the government? Oh, look at that strong boy. Tough man. Oh my. Don't worry, counsel. I have no issues with you. What do you mean? <laughs> I have an issue with them! Those two witnesses in the stand! 
What? What are you talking about? We have demonstrated we have demonstrated evidence we have demonstrated with evidence that the victim was not alone now so it's a, yeah words it's hard to focus on words i am focusing <laughs> it's really difficult so if it now turns out that the two of you deliberately lied when giving your testimonies Obviously, you will be charged with perjury. Perjury? And the majestic headband. It steady moves, Cho! It just keeps moving! Where is this air conditioning? Because air conditioning didn't exist. Why is this the only one moving? Also, hey babe! And since this is a murder trial, because of course it is, he will also be deemed complicit in the killing. Wow. Really? He's just throwing all the punches. Complicit in murder? N no. No. Ooh. Somebody bared. Somebody bared tell the truth. Negative. Th there was no mention of this in the tactical meeting. Ooh, there was a tactical meeting? I was just following orders. Look at him admitting to lying. Test two, baby. That's right. As the man says, just say that you never saw the gentlewoman. That's what they uh, told us. Who is they? You just told on yourself. Oh. What? What did you just say? Kutisan, what did you just say? It's no, 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 say it with your chest. You just said some crucial evidence. Speak up, speak up. I hear you. Repeat that for my lovely, beautiful, pointed ears. No, you were just following orders? Hold on, lad. I was, um, say you never saw the gentlewoman. Girl. When you say gentlewoman, do you mean you saw the victim with the lady from overseas? What? What are you objecting? What is the meaning of this? This is what they just said. What do you think is happening? These witnesses gave false statements. Have fun playing your game. Slip of the tongue. That's all it takes, sweetie. Order, order, counsel, explain what is going on here. Ugh, it's painfully clear now. You tried to prevent these witnesses from telling the truth. Absolutely not. The prosecution knows nothing of this. Such a weak slap. Then who's behind this? Who tried to make you keep your mouth shut? Well, uh, that baby is not happy. Like, that must hurt so much. <laughs> That's classified. So you prepare to <laughs> So you're prepared to be tried as a conspirator to this murder, are you? Look at him being so tough and manly. I love it. You, you wouldn't. This can't be happening. I just had a baby. <laughs> Renatsuke. Judging from the way they're reading, they're reacting to this, I'd say they were sworn by, to silence by someone with considerable influence. However, I don't believe Ayuchi had any idea about it. Look at the way that he's sweating. What are you saying? I mean, to wield that kind of influence, there are only a handful of possibilities. It could only have been the government, the military, or the police, I suppose, back when they were definitely corrupt and like, you know, we really had no choice in the matter. Well, any ideas who might be behind this? 
if we can affirm who tried to silence these witnesses, then we can continue our pursuit. So we need to name whoever it was that tried to make the witnesses keep their mouths shut. Of course, we'll need evidence before we make any firm accusations. Evidence that proves whoever really did wield his or her power here. But how? How can we possibly... Remember how we made progress before? Before? We examined the piece of evidence in more detail and found a new clue as a result. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, that's not the only piece of evidence we have, is it? We need to re-examine everything and make sure there's nothing we've missed. There's no time to lose. This is what every Ace Dirty case is, going through your evidence 7,000 times. <laughs> I want answers. I want them too. If it's proven that these witnesses have been manipulated, I assure you the penalty will be severe because I'm unaware of it and I'm probably not sure of it, but as soon as I figure out who actually is behind it, I might go hush hush. Uh, please, wait, Your Excellency. Imagine, why don't we stop calling judges that? Like, I feel like Your Excellency sounds way better than Your Honor. <sighs> I have no idea about any of this. I swear to every Sinto god. I knew nothing. Of course, because you're a spineless weasel. And what does the defense have to say about all this? Hmm? You think we knew? We just learned this just like you did. You think we walked in here and just learned this situation? Oh, yes. I wanted to be accused of murder, and I'm taking the fall for it because the government told me to. Um, well, Your Excellency, uh, because they're supposed to be honorable. Listen, I think saying Your Excellency is way better than me. Like, if I would be, if I knew that when I became a judge, I'd be called Your Excellency, I would go take the bar exam and become a judge. Like, just to hear that over and over. That's just a... That's just my goddess thing speaking. Anyway, no time to think. There's plenty of time to think. This is a video game, sir. I'm just going to have to close my eyes and shout out the first name that comes into my head. When in reality, we mean the first name that we, we definitely consider. Besides the prosecution, the only person with the necessarily influence to manipulate these witnesses is... God, now I have to think. Who would have the necessary authority? It's not you or you, you two are henchmen. The head waiter at the room for Cloud Come out hopes. It's not a, um, it's not him. Ah, oh, I... Not you for taking blue clues into this again. Um... Okay, we're just gonna go on a whim and we're gonna go and choose because there's nobody else. I mean, because look about it, okay? It's obviously not my future baby daddy because clearly he didn't do it because he's here beside, he's beside us and helping us. It's not the I don't think it was the professor because he's already was like, oh, you can't make him the freaking like main person to defend you. Uh, he's too spineless. He is the victim. <sighs> And these two are lying, so I'm gonna just go with... <sighs> He's the only one I got, so let's, let's go with him. How do I select? Is it this one? Oh, it's X. Uh, oh! That was right? Well, surely that would be... Satoru... Satoru Hasunoga... Son. All these affiliations. That's another son. The waiter who took the stand earlier. <sighs> Pop 
peacock. Language. What possible reason would the waiter have to make this witnesses give false testimony? I wish I knew, because I don't understand how this game is working. Not to mention the fact that even a head waiter could not possibly have that level of influence. Again, I wish I knew. <laughs> For once, I would agree with you. <laughs> if that is the main, the man truly were. <gasps> If that is the man truly were a waiter, what? If he truly were, come on, Ren, Renenske, time to hit the court with the truth. The truth about Sadanorga's real identity, as proven by this evidence. <sighs> okay, so we have to prove that he's not really a waiter. That's not it. Postmodern report. Um... Wait, didn't we get something from the waiter? Hold on. We got this. This is the one. We got this. How do we examine it again? A. Okay. So. That's the kitchen, that's the entrance. He drew a map on the board. He drew a map of where everything was sitting. She found a naga. Welcome back, Opsy. Um, well, my friend is playing this too. Nice. Something about his business card was was funny because he didn't want us to have it. But why did he want us to have it? It just looks like a normal business card. So it's like the stamp is okay. Nothing is glowing for me. The map is to determine where the person was sitting. Wait, hold on. Oh my god, I just missed that! Chief Inspector, so primal criminal investigation, he is. He's a police detective. I literally didn't read the text, so I thought it said something else. <laughs> I literally missed that. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, Chief, he's not as okay. Could his, view, could his view of it not make any sense? So he claimed to be on the, he's supposed to be a waiter, like the head waiter, but it's weird that the head, like, Okay. Well, that was unexpected. What's this? Look, do you see what it says? The witness's name here? Satori. We're just gonna call him Sato, because I can't pronounce names. <laughs> Sato Husanaga. Well, yes, witness cards do tend to show the person's name. That's sort of the point. It's not the name that's expected, it's his job title. His job? Oh, Chief Inspector Sato. Hasanoga, Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. So it's the police. Okay. He just drew that on somebody. Yeah, because you, uh, I can understand why you believe that, because, like, you weren't here. But he, that was the map that he used to determine what, what he claimed, that, like, that was the way he would be able to determine who was at the restaurant, um, so that he could weigh his tables, but he didn't want us to have the business card, and I thought that was weird, like, why don't you want us to have it, because that's, like, a big primal in this whole case, and this is why. Inspector, what on earth? See, it's always the police, man, man, always the fuzz, the popo, always doing the most. I have no idea, but let's face it, the police have a lot of power and influence. If they're willing, 
it's somehow here. The way this business card was added to the formation. All right, I think that's all we needed. I don't think we need anything else because I didn't see anything else, but I think that was like the biggest thing. So let us present this to the court. The plan of the restaurant sketched by the men in the question? Hmm, I agree it shows a great deal of attention of detail, but I'm not sure where we can conclude anything. Sorry, Your Excellency, that's the back of the card. It's the back of the back of the card that we're in interested in. Hey, thank you so much for the raid. Three followers from AK Alien, how are you? Welcome everybody who is watching, who just came by. Thank you so much. I appreciate you coming through. I hope you enjoy your time here. My name is Nevi, and I am playing Ace Attorney at the moment. Stick around and have fun. <laughs> I beg your pardon? <laughs> or perhaps I should have said the front? Oh, there you go. Say it with your chest. Yes, the front of the back of the card. That's where the telling detail is. Would someone please explain to me what this overexcited student is trying to say? <laughs> Hasnaga sketched the plan of the restaurant on the reverse side of his business card. The front of that business card reveals that the man in question's profession, his true profession, the waiter's profession but that's surely good good gracious that's right your excellency the card reads chief in <laughs> inspector primary criminal investigation division imperial police bro good lord it's a lot to say hi ak alien what's up my fellow brethren what the, the waiter is a police detective? I've said this several times already. <laughs> I, I haven't heard of any mention of this before. Why haven't I heard any mention of this before? Because you're terrible at your job. The Imperial Police Bureau has immense power, absolute power, as far as regular citizens are concerned. So, witnesses there in the stand was it in fact the waiter who gave you your orders? Was it he who told you not to mention that you'd seen the foreign gentlewoman at the scene? Uh, well... Again, speak up with your chest. I can't hear you. There's no microphone, so I need you to speak very loudly. <laughs> hold it! Who said hold it? Oh! I Inspector Hosanaga. Not the detective who was bleeding from his nose. I was worried something like this may happen. The moment you asked me to submit my sketch of evidence, I realized it was a possibility. Here we go. The court will take the plan and add it to the court's record as evidence. Uh, um, well, is there a problem? Had the plan to the court officer at once. Um, of course. Here you are. Yes, I remember now. He did act strange when the judge asked him to hand over the business card. I strive to carry out all the investigations flawlessly. Bye, have a good wrap. Or rest, or end of the night. You know what I mean. I'll see you later. It's my guiding principle. But I let myself be distracted when I made that sketch. It was an unusually careless mistake. So you mean to say, you really are a detective? But why would a detective be working as a restaurant raider? Ah, of course, your salary must be terrible. I was working undercover. Undercover? Yes, there has been a series of incidents at that restaurant recently. In order to investigate, I decided to get a job there as a waiter working undercover. 
incidents at the restaurant? What kind of incidents? I don't know, Kasumi. Murder, maybe? People have been dying, I bet. He did it, everybody! He did the point up the glasses thing. We are here. It's a true anime trope. It's amazing. We're all case closed. Close the books. This is a giant anime as, as we know it. <sighs> anyway, that would be classified police invest information, which I am not at liberty to divulge. You were in a court! This is opportunity time to tell me because they're trying to accuse me of murder and if you know that I'm not someone who you know what <sighs> however I can't state categorically that they are unrelated to this case of homicide I don't think so hmm very well then inspector Hosanaga but will you elaborate on one point for the court <sighs> of course your excellency we have to hurt we have just heard new information from the two witnesses besides you. At the time of the shooting, there was in fact another person present at the victim's table. If that is indeed, if that is indeed true, clearly you would have been aware of this person's presence having served at the table in question. However, your testimony did not allude to this diner, to this other diner. Therefore, I am led to assume that you that in your professional cap cap capacity as a police officer, you have required these witnesses to be in agreement. Would that be correct? Ah! Don't get sick! Don't get sick! Don't be coughing! Don't be... Uh, no, 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 no! Focus! Focus! You made these people lie, even though you are, pro you are of the law. But for what reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? Correct your excellency. That's right, own up to it. Unbelievable. Hmm. As I suspected. As soon as I heard the gunshot, I ran out of the kitchen to see what had happened. The victim was sat slumped in his chair, and beside him, gun in hand, shot the accused student. Well, so the accused student, sitting opposite to the victim at the same table, was a young lady who I'm guessed to be the English woman. So the truth comes out. I immediately sealed off the restaurant, reported the incident to the bureau. It was then I received some special orders. Special orders? You mean to say, remove the Englishwoman from the scene at once. So y'all was gonna accuse me of murder because y'all didn't want this crime to assume, like you didn't want this crime to happen and y'all didn't want to accuse an Englishwoman for killing another Englishman in Japan after we done signed a treaty so it's easier to you know, let one of your innocent citizens get pulled for the fall because of politics? It was made clear that the English woman's presence at the restaurant was to be concealed. Those were my orders. But, but if it was an English woman was the killer, I think it would be in everyone's best interest not to pursue that idea. The Empire views the friendly terms of relations with Britain more highly than anything at the moment. An Englishman had been murdered on our soil. To name an Englishwoman as a prime suspect, well, without infutable evidence, that would be completely out of the question. So that's the reason for the disappearance of the phantom woman in this case? But it's not right! <laughs> Y'all, okay, y'all really gonna let me go down because politics. Can everyone stop saying dot dot dot? I need, I need answers. I need someone to explain to me why I have to ruin my life and why I have to suffer a sentence because y'all don't want to upset 
the tea drinkers of the West. <laughs> One possibility does spring to mind. What do you mean, Kasume? <sighs> Yumi University is currently hosting a number of exchange students from Great Britain. And I'm fairly certain that one of them studying the medical facility research laboratory is a young English woman. What? You're a shrewd man. Ah, oh, mm, don't you call my. Ooh, don't come at him. Don't, don't do that. Who are you calling shrewd? I know you're not calling my hubby shrewd. Not my bae. We could throw hands. We could to go tussle. We could go 50 cups. This ain't a game. Try me, because what you about to do is put my friend in jail and then call my hubby. Oh, screwed man. You do the most, and I'm not here for it. I can see why they chosen, why you're the chosen candidate to study overseas for the overseas study tour you mean when I removed that woman from the scene of the crime I thought it was prudent to check her identity first he's not insulting him he shouldn't be speaking about him anyway he could have said it better <laughs> Yeah, about to murder this person. Oh, I have every right reason to murder. No, okay, understand. I still have every right to murder him because he wants to basically pin this case on, like, us, and then sit there and be like, "Oh yeah, whatever, whatever." <laughs> it's totally fine because it was my orders. He still gets to go down. <clears throat> then the court demands the, that you name the lady in question at once, Inspector. The English woman sitting at the university's professor table was a certain Miss Jazelle Brett. She's indeed a foreign student studying in a research laboratory at Yum University Medical Facility. I admit that under orders from the police bureau, I erase all evidence of this lady's presence at the scene. Of course, we must protect the white woman. And order the witnesses to make no mention of her in the testimonies. Of course, because why not let a minority go down? A minority of the country, by the way, for the sake of this English woman. <sighs> bow I must now be it must now be up to your excellency to decide how to deal with the situation go get her and tell her to face for her crime very well my thoughts on the matter are as follows thus far the case presented to the court has been underpinned by a particularly critical premise Namely, that the victim was dining alone. What? However, as we have now discovered that the premise is false, it would be a discretion of justice system to ignore the truth and give it a ruling at this point. But, but your excellency, this would mean the... This would mean missing the noon deadline of a ruling in order to send the telegraph report to Great Britain. Our own government will surely be displeased by such actions. Calm yourself, Council. I would not allow the government of our country of any or any other to influence the proceedings of my courtroom. That's right. Inspector Hazanoga. Yes, sir. You will locate this Giselle Brett and escort her to the courtroom with the utmost urgency. At once, Your Excellency. But, but that means we'll be going against the special orders you were given from the police bureau. As I said before, it is my 
guiding principle to carry out all my investigations flawlessly. So it wouldn't be a problem. Didn't I tell you not to get sick? <laughs> Nothing would get in my way. This dude is going to end up dead. This man has tuberculosis. Court will adjourn briefly. The prosecution must call this English student Giselle Barrett to the witness stand. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Your Excellency. Good. And then we will have a 30 minute recess before con convincing. This man gonna end up dead and we'll never see this woman. Mark my words, we're not gonna see this woman. But we did great on our first part of the case. Good job. I knew I could do it. I'm so smart. <laughs> 22nd November, 11.38 a.m. Supreme Court of Judicature. <laughs> Judicur Defendant's Antechamber 5. Excellent work, Renuske. That was superb. Uh, my heart was in my mouth the entire time. Ew. It was almost unbelievable. I mean, looking at you in there. You were drenched in sweat. Your eyes were popping. Your knees buckling. And you were grinding your teeth. It was a grim sight, but I knew it. You'd started finding inconsistencies in the testimony. I think you might have a natural talent for being a lawyer. <sighs> He's so fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's so fine. Forget it. It's terrifying. If I go through with this, I don't ever want to see the inside of a court through again. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it looks like we've exposed your phantom lady at last. Miss Jezahel Barrett, a student from Great Britain, is she? That's what I was trying to tell everyone from the start. Dr. Wilson wasn't alone. There was a young woman behind with him, like I've been saying all along. Yes, you have, haven't you? I might not be overly confident in the courtroom, but my powers of observation are one thing I am sure of. Yes, I can see that. So, about this young gentlewoman, thanks to our detective friend, she is hastily escorted from this, away from the scene, it seems. Did you see what happened with that? No, I didn't see any of it. I was just on my way out of the restaurant myself, then on the floor next to Dr. Wilson's table. I noticed there was a gun lying on the floor, and just after I bent down to pick it up... I didn't have time to think about the sound of the gunshot and had come from. The waiter ran over to me, looking as white as a sheet. <laughs> Hi, Chris! I was playing It's Turning On. I'm on game one, trial five, final day, trial letter two. That is a mouthful to read. Um, and he bundled down, went to some sort of small pantry next to the kitchen. Okay, so he wasn't killed with the gun that I found. He was killed with a different gun. That's something to remember. Fast thinking by the detective. He apprehended the suspect without a moment's delay. Yes, and because I was shut in the pantry, I have no idea what happened outside of the dining area. Ah, there you are. Well done, both of you. Is that the teacher? I knew it. <sighs> Professor Mokotoba! Well, it seems I was right. The pair of you make an outstanding team. You've exceeded my expectations, I have to say. Of course, I'm amazing, because Zoom is amazing. How dare you think otherwise? Yes, it seems you've planned this from the start. You arranged 
You arrange things so that I wouldn't be able to act as a lawyer in the trial. He didn't want you to lose your job. He didn't want you to lose out on your dream, honey. Our modern country is still in its infancy. Our justice system even more so. Clearly, because police can just lie and get away with that. And everybody's all hunky crooky dory <sighs> Anyway. I'm taking like a slight break. <clears throat> Which is why I firmly believe that we need to send our brightest young stars overseas to learn all that we can. Uh, I am really enjoying Ace Attorney though, I'm on my first playthrough too, and this trial, I know the solution, I just hate that I need to hold off to say it. Yeah, I know, it's, it's, that's the problem. Uh, I don't remember what he just said, but whatever. Well, it makes no difference, lawyer or otherwise, if I'm the kind of man who can help his best friend avert the worst crisis of, of his life. I shouldn't waste everyone's time by going to study overseas anyway. What? What are you saying, Kazuma? Hmm. So that's your stance. I was afraid you'd feel that way. Kazuma! Well then... It looks like it all comes down to you, young man. T to me? Yes. You need to prove your innocence and uncover what really took place in the restaurant. I must say, I very much want to know the truth. He said his voice to Great Britain was cancelled or something. Yeah. After all, I have a personal connection to this case. Come to think of it, he said the same thing early in the morning, didn't he? Um, if you don't mind me asking, Professor, did you know the victim? They were- okay, okay. Y'all in the same school. What makes you think he wouldn't know a fellow prof- I'm done. I'm tired. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> As you're probably aware, Dr. John H. Wilson was a visiting professor at UMA, and it was I who invited him. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm not even inviting your friend. You'd be like, hey, you want to come and check out my school? Yeah, I'll come and check out your school. Death. Death. <laughs> I'll be some junk. Oh, I, I see. I didn't know that before. Anyway, you're about to go into battle. The victim was a university professor from Great Britain and a well-known one at that. So everybody keeps telling me, because you know, this isn't, you know, haunting me in my dreams. <sighs> Good lord. Do, 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 do. Naturally, our government is looking to identify the punish the culprit as quickly as possible. No, they're not. The pun the government was trying to basically frame it on me because it's much easier to frame it on me. Also, there was this one puzzle in the trial I'm doing that is super annoying because I'm not joking. It has to be pixel perfect with the solution and it took me like 20 minutes even though I knew how to solve it. Welcome to Ace Attorney. <laughs> but let's not forget who we're going up against. The gentlewoman whose involvement our police bureau went to the extraordinary lengths to hide. Is she pretty? She better be pretty. Because if she's not pretty, then I don't want no parts. Mm. 
Yes, and I'm sure the prostitute, prosec, not prostitution, the prosecution will be using every tool at their disposal to squash your case. You mean like how he couldn't before because I'm too brilliant? <laughs> Let's see him try. But I have no doubt that you, Pear, will put up a good fight right to the last. Best of luck. Thank you. <laughs> Now then, I need you to run an area at the university city at once. There's something I've, I think we may need. Of course. Good luck, Kasumi-sama. Defendant Naruhoto. Court recess is over. Please make your way back inside the court at once. It's been 30 minutes already? <laughs> it's time. Let's get back to it, partner. Let's do it, Kasumi. Let's go in there and deal a decisive blow before those old fossils know what hit them. Let's go, honey. Um, Kasumi? What? Thank you. Really? What for? Well, if you hadn't said that you believed in me, then I'm fairly sure I'd already be found guilty by now. Look, I have faith in you. As a lawyer and as a friend, coming from you, that means a lot. If I'm found guilty in this trial, He's really going to give up on his dream of studying abroad. That's the kind of true friend he is. Unlike, you know, Miles. Well, unlike, you know, Nick over there who decided that he was going to pursue his whole career just to see Miles Edgeworth. <sighs> I've played the entirety of the trilogy. I've played Miles uh, Edgeworth Investigations. Just those. Alrighty then, I'll save the thank yous for the after the trial, and possibly the makeup because God, you're sexy. We can't treat <laughs> you can treat me to one of those sukiyaki meals I like from Yumi Cafeteria on University Street. Lord, we learn what he likes. I learn about him. I learn about the food that he likes. Ah, we love it. Y'all gotta leave me alone. I absolutely love this man. This man is gorgeous. This man is everything. When I mean everything, I mean everything. <laughs> Truly an honorable person. A beauty to behold. A strong, confident sense of a man. <laughs> Where's the bunk when you need it? Oh, hush. With an extra large portion, of course. Ooh, when he eats a lot. I will be sure to cook lots of food for you. Ah, okay. I've only gotten to court record to check the ages of the characters because some of them kind of fresh and they're all below my limit of 70 and I'm like, yes. <laughs> yeah, a lot of them are like in their 20s. And then as they get older, they get no older than like 30. Like, Kazume is 23 right now. The court hereby resumes the trial of Renesuke Hanarohuda or whatever in the world you say his name. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Prosecutor Ayuchi, have you managed to subpoena the witness? Yes, Your Excellency. Against all odds. She's here already? Dang, they're fast. And you get 
Damien Gank, who's 65 but sexy as hell. Bad person, don't get me wrong, but sexy. You know, it's the villains we you love to hate but love to love. And thanks to a certain young strapling, the prosecution is now under rather painful scrutiny from the government. Ugh. Narahudo. <laughs> like when you're saying anime and they say so, I see. Oh, okay. Narahudo. But isn't that just pain? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it is. It's like, ugh. Why are you going to be so bad? But, ooh. Oof. Oh, we love a villain who's bad, but sometimes good. <sighs> I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm down bad for villains and Kasumi at this point. Let the government scrutinize. Yeah, I know. It's a weird name. His name is Renoske. I understand. <laughs> like, as in, in the trial when you go over stuff, he's like, yes, I get it. Um, let the government scrutinize. It's their job, if nothing. It's nothing to worry about. You're right, honey. It's unlikely that a good relations we've forged with Great Britain would emerge from this trial unscathed. <laughs> so am I, Nebby. Don't be ashamed. I am not. I'm down for consuming and villains alone. I mean, I like demons. I'm a goddess who loves demons. What can you say to me? <laughs> Those villains are hot. Mm, to a T. What an extra T. What a H. What a capital H. A T. Oh. Uh, well, you think nothing to worry about when the new treaty breaks down and our nation founders? Spoiler alert. Y'all gonna have some issues with England later on in life. You know, I don't know. I hate to tell you, this is only the beginning. But. <laughs> Again, terribly sorry. <laughs> if the friendship between our nation is so is really so fragile, then the re treaty isn't worth the paper it's written on. <sighs> Capital T because I forgot it. Yeah. <laughs> um, Kazumi just has a lot to say, and I love it. You really have nothing to worry about, Renesuke. What do you mean? A secret trial, anxiety over some foreign government's opinions, a bungled investigation, missing witnesses. Is this what our nation's justice system is? Is this the Supreme Court of Japan or of England? Shut up. Shut up, you jumped up rookie boy. Oh, now you insult in the bay. You. Death to you. Fire to you. <sighs> You and your friend know nothing. Nothing of the situation our nation faces finds itself in. Y'all always say this about young people. You guys know nothing. You don't know. I'm going to show you what I know. By ailing ourselves with this great po world power, we've become strong. Diplomacy has never been more critical. Again. Hate to break it to you, but this is going to get a lot worse in years to come. Just letting you know. Steady poli political maneuvers is what we will secure our futures. Just remember under 18 hours into the new seasons of Apex. I hope you're excited. I won't deny that I'm no expert. I am just a student and one who would arguably study harder too. Uh, hey there, just here to support some streamers I have to, I have to lurk, but, um, um, have an amazing stream. Thank you so much for lurking. I appreciate you. Next up, thank you for visiting and coming by. I love it. I love the support. And then I remember I'm going away. I won't be able to play it. Oh, I'm so sorry, Chris. <laughs> by standing here now in our Supreme Court, there is only one thing I feel very strongly. A country that fails to uphold the truth is in its justice system is a country with no future at all. That would be America. <laughs> One more thing. I love your model. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I love your emotes. They're super adorable. 
Well said, Renunsuke, despite the wide-eyed look of terror. You little brats! Thank you, Council. This court is impeccable of our nation's justice system and exists solely for the pursuance of truth. With that in mind, the trial will now resume with the next witness taking the stand. However, I will be able to take a look at the battle pass and cry with <laughs> Gets her 583rd skin. I wish I could relate to that, but I feel your pain through that text. The visiting student with Great Britain, Ms. Giselle Brett. Ooh, we get to see the Jezebel. The one who shot him. She better be cute. I swear to God, if she's not cute. Your Excellency! If she is not cute, we're having a problem. Here we go. She's got a swan on her head. Well, what a delight it is to welcome such a fine gentlewoman to Japan and as such a and from such a distant land. Tea. Someone bring English tea. In England no discussion takes place without tea. Is that true? No idea. So, um, ahem. Could we possibly trouble you to state your name and occupation for the court? Look at them losing their minds over a woman. Of course. My name is- NOT YOU! <laughs> yes, yes, we know all about you already. Inspector Hosnaga, where are your manners? In England, it's always ladies first. Is that true? No idea. More importantly, a little earlier today you said something to me. You said your powers of observation are the one thing you were sure of. Oh yes, I think I did, didn't I? Yet your description of this amazing sight was simply a woman. Sorry, Renitsuke, but powers of observation aside, your powers of description are sorely lacking. Guilty. <laughs> so, dear lady, once again, if you may trouble, if we may trouble you for your name and occupation, please. Speak, ho. Oh my God, is she serious? I can't read that. <laughs> Um, I'm terribly sorry, dear lady, but... What? <laughs> She's speaking in cursive. She's speaking in cursive. <sighs> She's so pretty, and she speaks, and I am tired. The lady says her name is Giselle Barrett, and she comes from London, England. <gasps> Gasp! Who would have guessed? She's a visiting research student currently enrolled in Yume University's medical facility. Oh my, what a rare treat to hear the dialectic tones of the delicate language of the British people. Is this English? I'm afraid I don't understand a word you say, but it's such a, but it's as beautiful as a hummingbird song. I mean, depending on where she's from in the dialect, <laughs> I can tell you otherwise. <laughs> as far as I can tell. The detective is translating her words faithfully enough. Yes, I agree. <laughs> you obviously are do fine in England because um, her English doesn't rattle you at all, does it? Nor you. You clearly being... You've clearly been paying attention in your English classes, Renitsuke. Uh, no, she's captain, because how would she know to give her name and occupation, even if it was said in a different language? Exactly. How would I know what to say in the court? Y'all could be saying, do you eat total, like, do you eat soup? Do you eat soup? And if I respond yes, that means I understood you. The court thanks the beautiful lady for taking the stand. I hate this. I mean, as a woman, I hate this. 
okay, so the thing is, since the language of this game is English, but they are English, they need to make it seem like you can't understand her. So the way they're done is by acting with an accent that they cannot understand it. I hate... I, that's not the part I hate. I hate the whole... Oh my god, there's a woman in our presence. Oh my god, she's so beautiful. Oh my god. I hate it here. Now, if we may trouble you to confer something, Miss Barrett. Also, what's with the mask? What is with the mask? I can't wait to expose you and your lies. Three days ago at the restaurant called Lake Cotavel, a, a grim murder took place. The court has been led to believe that you were dining with the victim, Dr. Wilson, at the time. Is that correct? Hey, yo, Shardy, were you there? She says, yes. Uh-uh. All that text to say, yeah? This could take some time. So even though she's studying... She likes to apologize for disappearing from the scene. That's not what I asked her. She says that she was due to make a presentation at the university, so she had to leave immediately. Oh, yes, I'm not guilty. I just happened to run off from a crime scene, even though I just happened to be there at the crime. Interesting. When you're the one who engineered her to escape, lion. <laughs> basically, <laughs> that's basically what just happened. It's, <laughs> it's like if, it's basically what happens if I were to speak in my alien language and then I just went, what did she say? She said, sup. She said all that to say sup. I'm just following special orders from the brew. So then she didn't leave to go do a presentation. She left because you told her to leave. Well now, dear lady, would you be so kind to cast your eyes over this for this photographic print? Whatever. <laughs> Seeing as you were unfortunately present at the scene of the crime, could it be that your resplendent eyes caught sight of the wicked perpetrator, perhaps? Yo. I get this treatment every time I go home, and it bothers me. Like, I'm a goddess, but I'm not doughy-eyed, and I don't do anything. <sighs> watch, watch, why, 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 watch. All this to be like, no. <laughs> Apparently, it was a very frightening and sorrowful sight. Do you mean to say? Yes. It would appear the lady did not witness the crime. Like heck she didn't. The very moment we, when the accused standing right there in the courtroom shot the victim in cold blood. You gonna tell me that she was at the table right next to him at the table like literally at the same table and you want to me she didn't see nothing she didn't see anything if she didn't see anything why did y'all escort her out of the place if she is not at all guilty if she is like the epitome of everything on earth if she herself has the presence of a deity then why Oh, why was she told to exit the premises and be escorted out? <sighs> like, like, like someone needs to explain to me why on earth 
was she pushed out of the courtroom and she ain't do nothing. <sighs> Did you hear that, Your Excellency? Uh, come on. <laughs> the fact that I can breathe. <laughs> that's so Ciao, Senorita. Ciao, Senora. Comba ugi toto bene. Cosa he visto e gono e giorno de delitio? Translation. Hey, <laughs> how you doing? That's Italian. <laughs> Here's, here we have an absolute, absolutely conclusive witness statement. Have y'all been around women? Have y'all seen a woman? Has one graced your presence? Hmm. Well, it looks like it's clear now. Clear who our real enemy is. That's right, Kasume. Don't get caught up in her beauty. Be true to the situation. He know the drill. This is why I love him. <sighs> Unfortunately, I will have to ask you to formally testify, if you please. Kindly tell the court the exact nature of this frightening and sorrowful sight you described. Ah, uh, they fiend in this hard at this age. You really hate to see it. Can I just say this whole back and forth is taking so much fucking time? If you think this takes so much time, be glad I chose to not replay any Danganronpa game ever. I refuse to play them on the stream. I refuse to play them again. That is so much back and forth, back and forth. It's basically like tennis, pong, back and forth, just like repeating the same situation like did this guy kill them did this guy kill them we must look at the case of this kid like why do all eight of you need to say the same sentence that we just concluded was he holding the knife i think he was holding the knife i've concluded the knife was being held by he yes <laughs> Oh no, I played Dongarongo, but this translation is bullshit. I'm. Here we go. A frightening and sorrowful sight. <laughs> Dongarongo and Nace be make, both be making me want to commit homicide against people solely for their sheer stupidity. Ooh, fast food made me want to do that just from listening to people. <laughs> it was. I was ready. I was ready. Alright, everybody, let's listen to what this first woman has to say. I, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I had arranged to meet for a slightly late luncheon with Dr. Wilson that day. It was like 2 p.m., but whatever. The professor was unable to eat, so I ordered for myself only a beef steak. After a while, the accused came over to greet the professor, and they got into a fierce argument. Already there's something wrong. Why would a lady of her stature at the time eat a beef steak? Ladies back then would not eat something so heavy. Then not long afterwards, the accused took the professor's gun and shot him right before my eyes. Hold on. You just said you didn't see what happened. So how do you know that he was the one who shot him? Uh, Ace Attorney makes me want to commit homicide because I want to see Phoenix. I want to see if Phoenix can get me out of the pickle I'm in. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> Not without some serious help. I don't carry a gun myself, so obviously I couldn't have been the culprit. This is condemning testimony. Yep. Yeah. No. I didn't have any kind of argument with the professor at all. Quiet, you filthy wretch. Look at you, you black hearted black guard. And look at this. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm 
not, because that's not what she is. <laughs> I'm sure even a dark-minded scoundrel like you can imagine whose words the court is going to believe. I think later, when we actually be able to uh, cross-examine her. He did! He did! You're still making the same mistakes, Runinsuke. You mustn't blurt out when you're, when you're goaded like that. That lesson you need to learn. Ugh, but he's so annoying. Of course, I was at the scene as well. I took the statements from this lady and the two witnesses who testified before. You know, the ones you told to lie <laughs> and report it back to the bureau. It was decided that Miss Brett was not involved, so I let her go. That is not what happened. You literally just confessed a few seconds ago, a few moments ago, 30 minutes ago, that you took her because they told you to take her and remove her because you didn't want to be, they didn't want it to have a crime scene of two Englishmen or two English people on Japanese soil because we have a treaty with them that we just fit. <sighs> A hey, call it Normie Normani with how far they on the wild side it is. Yo, I love you, Chris. You have such great comebacks and stuff. Oh. The testimonies of the last two witnesses were completely worthless, however. Well, even so one on the day in question the lady was wearing the same outfit as she is today. So she didn't bathe ew nasty. As you can see, there is nowhere about her person where she could conceal a firearm. Nowhere in her person! She's carrying a fake caboose! She's got a swan hat! She's got curls upon curls! Are you serious? Homegirl has plenty of places she can hire a firearm! I could hire a firearm in my shirt, in my bra. Are you I'm so tired. <laughs> I would think she could hide a gun almost anywhere in that outfit if she wanted to. Unless that's... Unless and until precise location where the witness is is to have hidden a weapon can be shown. This is Moot. Her hat, her dress, the back of her dress, in her shoe, in her hair, <laughs> in her bra, in in her pantyloons. <laughs> There's no pockets in that outfit. I have nowhere to hide a gun. No. Those are the witnesses' own words on the matter. Of course she's going to say that. I'm going to say it too. I'm going to say, Your Honor, I have nowhere hidden a gun. Meanwhile, I've got, like, army pockets. <laughs> Frustration is what she gives me. Ugh, that's ridiculous. If only I was allowed to lift her, her dress and I could prove it. That's terrible. You shouldn't do that. Don't think about doing anything rash, Renatsuke. But I didn't fire. I didn't fire the gun I picked up. There must have been another gun there that day. There was. You're right about that. Which means... This lady was hiding a gun somewhere. Yes, that's what we have to prove now. And to do so, we will need to pull her testimony apart. Look, 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 look! She knows she messed up. The defense may now cross-examine the witness. Oh, yes, Your Excellency over there lying several times. <laughs> yes, you have to have pockets to hide a gun. The general rule of thumb when it comes to shooting, right? Oh, I carry a purse. This purse is not capable to hold a gun. Only pockets. Fine. Yes, you were there. I agree. The professor was unable to eat, so I ordered myself While his cues came over to greet the professor, 
into a fierce argument. Hmm. I haven't messed up yet, but I feel like this Oh, I didn't mean to press that one. Ah! Which one was it? Yeah, if that was the case, right? Then why was it put in front of me? Hmm. Well, what about that last one? Was that a penalty? seems perfectly reasonable to me. I messed up. Oh, that was my first mess up. Ah! I thought it was a I thought it was a I had an idea of what I thought it was. Hold on. It had to be that one. Hmm. How do I press on it is what I want to know. Oh, it was this one. I pressed the wrong button. No wonder. Okay. He was unable to eat, you say. And that was because he had just a tooth removed at the Haruka clinic, correct? That's right. The smell very gave me very much... Celestia, uh, you're supposed to actually check with the witness before answering. Right? You just answered for her! Was Miss Barrett aware of the fact? It seems so, yes. She heard that the professor was some... Had some sort had some dental treatment, so that would mean was that it was you who who ate the steak pictured here. Is that right, Miss Barrett? That's right. Yes. The print you have shows the table exactly as it was left after the horrifying events. Exactly as it was left. Dear me, what a horrible experience. Oh, shut up. To have traveled to a distant island so far on the world and to be embroiled in such a tragic incident. She caused the... Like, a lot of heart without the L. And the H from the heart being moved to the other. I love you, Chris, so much. Have no fear, my dear lady. I swear I will crush the evil fiend that has subjected you to this terrible plight. I will throw you out of the window and not feel bad. So the victim, Dr. Wilson, had nothing to eat or drink at the all? That's right. Other than some carbonated water. He had carbonated water. Just water? Yes, 
Yes, the professor was unable to eat, but he had been given permission to drink water, which is true. So it appears that the din to the diners toasted their lunch with a glass of water each. Hmm, that raised the, they raised a glass of carbonated water. What do you think, Renosuke, about the witness's last statement? There's only one glass, so if they both had water, why was there only one glass? That last statement of your Miss Barrett, has a profound bearing on this case. Well, well, how fascinating. Do tell us what is this profound bearing. The significance of the statement will become apparent when the time is right. The defense calls for the witness's last statement to be formally added to the testimony. Hmm. Well, size that counsel. Very well, Miss Brett. Kindly repeat what you've just said that to be added to your official statement. Gladly, she said. How? You didn't even you didn't even reach over to talk to her. How do you know it was what she said? She just smiled. Did you look at her in your peripheral? That was brilliant, Kasumi. I'm going to remember that one. Which one? The significance will be apparent when the time is right. I could really use that phrase. I'd hope there are some more, <laughs> some more useful tips you're packing up with this experience in that, Renitsuke. She didn't even move a curse of whip. She didn't say nothing. <sighs> okay. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. See, this is where the problem is, right? Now this is where I can do this, right? Boom. Look, look, look. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Look, look, look. There was one glass, but they both had something to drink? I think not, woman. There's a problem. That statement contradicts the facts of demonstrated by this evidence. No? How? Do I have to click on the magnifying glass? I swear to God. I swear I had to. I'm at three. Oh my God. Good thing I didn't save. No, no, that's right, cause she didn't. Look, 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 look. So, I'm gonna go here, here. That's there's only one glass. So how do I present that? <laughs> Court cases would be a lot easier if you could just throw hands. Oh, I used the wrong photo. Oh, it's this one. Okay, there we go. Hi, Wavy. That's it. Okay, I got two down, but it's okay. I'm still doing good. Still doing good. Let's just confirm something, please. It's to do with this photograph photographic print. Just a short while ago, you spoke of this showing the victim's table at the crime scene. That is, that it was exactly as it was left. She just nodded. <laughs> I realized she understood what was being said. Well, that is, it's um, it's odd, very odd. Dear me, what's odd that the defense is unable to express himself? Uh, Ronitsuke, what is it about the print that looks odd to you? Well, obviously, it's, it's the cheers. The cheers? Miss Brett just told us that she and the professor said cheers over a glass of water. But if that's true, 
There should be two glasses on the table, not one. That's quite right, Council. There's only one glass pictured here. Oh, please! Are we supposed to be impressed by this nitpicking over... Minute? Yes! Yes! Court cases are very nitpicky! What possible difference does the presence, presence or absence of the glass make on the case? She's lying! <laughs> That's what it does, you complete simp imbecile! <gasps> Munate, you say? Could it be that the defense here removed the glass from the table to conceal the lady's presence? Of course not. I would never do something so reckless. You mean how you removed her from the trial the whole time? You mean how you never put her in the situation? How you got rid of her from the... <sighs> you mean how you removed her from the scene of the crime? And then pretended she didn't exist? And then pretended that she wasn't a police officer? Because you're definitely someone I can trust right now. Oh, God. But there should have been two glasses on that table. Or are you going to try to tell me you can clink with one? You're quite right. I certainly took two glasses to the table. Here she go. Inspector, what did the lady say? It was seen that as if Miss Barrett, who took the glass off the table. Look at her, and she a thief. Ooh. What? It was so terrifying, everything that happened. I panicked and thought I should try to hide the fact that it's been there all the time. Oh, all that. She said all that? She's saying, good gracious. She ready. She want me to throw all the hands. Sorry? So, so uh, y'all wanted me to play this game is what I want to say. Y'all wanted me to play this game. This is what I mean by Ace Attorney gets on my nerves. How do you say it's sorry? What is he sorry to? There, as I assure you the court before, there is no consequence at all. Oh, please. We must remember that this student had just murdered this lady's luncheon companion before her very eyes. She just said sorry! In English! I mean, she understands what we're saying! Who can blame her for concealing a glass or two in her in a state of her disarray? She's still. <sighs> this hoe shot a man, framed a man. Is sitting there acting like she don't know Japanese. She can't. This hoe came all the way to a foreign place without knowing the language, supposedly, to study medicine, supposedly. Shot a fellow English person, was but claimed she didn't see what happened to the English person because she was so distraught and so heartbroken and so afraid. Yet she claims we did it. And then she like is being like you know held in secret by the police but oh no she didn't do it possibly because she was just removed from the scene because it was so distraughting to her comes to court speaking in cursive font and the only person who can like basically translate for her is the person who covered up her existence in the first place And then she has the nerve, the gall, to be like, I couldn't have shot him. I have nowhere to hide the gun. Look at all this on me. There's no way I could hide it. Faces. <sighs> That's absurd. Oh, really? So do we take it that you were going to accuse this vulnerable, young, and beautiful woman of mischief? Headaches, 
you give me headaches. What? No, 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 this can't be put down to mischief. I'd like to know. Exactly how the lady took the glass off the table. Ah, uh ah, -uh, uh -uh, speak English. You would just no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You just mm -mm. It would seem that she slipped it into a small handbag she was carrying. Oh, but what happened? What happened to I didn't have anything on me to carry a gun, but now you got a handbag? Excuse me? Come again? A handbag, you say? Your Excellency, a small handheld pouch commonly carried by the well-to-do women in England. So, the beautiful lady has very graciously explained how and why she would remove the glass from the scene now. So she can hold a glass, but she can't hold a gun? She was carrying a glass, but the idea of a gun out of pocket. Exactly, Chris. Like, just out of pocket. There's no way in the world she could carry a gun. That's absurd. That doesn't make sense. How? Gun? Her? Impossible. Where would it fit? It's... <laughs> I'm exhausted. I'm beyond exhausted. <laughs> However, the fact remains that the glass has absolutely no bearing on the case. No bearing on the case! <laughs> oh, right! Chris is English! Chris! Help! <laughs> Help! <laughs> Ha the speck remains the glass has absolutely no bearing. I want to punch you. <laughs> this student has been trying to confuse the court with this logical with logical reasoning, but in the end it comes to nothing. You just said my reasoning was logical, so obviously I'm saying I know what I'm saying. No more pretentious accusations. You have wasted enough time already. Indeed. The lady has offered a satisfactory explanation as to why she removed the glass. Bruh. I think henceforth we could we can consider the matter to have no bearing on the case. Cons Counsel for the defense, are you in agreement? No! No, we are not! If you want to pursue this matter further... You're going to need to show that in some deeper significance. Yes, you're right. So she took the glass away from her handbag. If it's deeper significance, there is... The handbag! What the... <clears throat> Are we missing the fact that the handbag is now present? The lady put the glass in her handbag, you say? Yes, do you... Do try to keep up. It's already been explained to the court that all English women carry handbags for small items. Let me see. A little while ago, Miss Britt stated the following. There's no pockets in my outfit. I have nowhere to hide a gun. But what she forgot to mention was her handbag. And which would be perfectly possible to conceal a are y'all this dumb? There's no way. Everybody in this courtroom is this stupid. <laughs> You're right. Oh, d d you think? Well done, partner. I had a feeling you pick up on that too. <laughs> what are you insinuating, you vow blackguard? I. It's really simple. The gunshot was heard when the defendant picked up the gun from the restaurant floor. 
and he didn't fire that gun, we can deduce there must have been another firearm at the scene! The true mother weapon, if you will. You, you can't seriously be suggesting. Inspector Hasanoga. Yes. Did you or did you not search Miss Giselle Barrett handbag on the day of the murder? Of course you didn't. You No, sir, I did not. As I thought. In other words, another gun, the one that was actually used to kill the professor, could have been hidden in Miss Barrett's handbag. No. Order, order. Okay, we're gonna leave it there. We're gonna save because I can't absolutely do this anymore. <laughs> I can't do this anymore for today. <laughs> okay, that has been the end of my stream. So, <sighs> let's go over. <laughs> 